In this work from home age, as demand sinks for traditional office space, companies are simply realizing they don't need that much space. Dr. Rebel away. Cole from Florida Atlantic University then, says new data is showing signs of a tumultuous future for our banking system. Office vacancy rates in big cities like San Francisco are currently as high as 30%. For comparison, in 2019, before COVID, they were 3%. Dr. Cole conducted a new study finding just over 1,500 of the nearly 4,700 U.S. banks have total commercial real estate exposures greater than 300%, meaning regulators measure this as the amount of loans for commercial buildings to the amount of the bank's equity capital, which is its cushion against losses. And when that gets above 3 300%, so that the exposure is three times their, their equity, the regulators get really scared. What do you see happening down the road with the banks? I see some serious problems. Uh, we talked about office, but we didn't talk about other types of real estate, uh, apartments, uh, retail. Retail got hit really hard during COVID, uh, even industrial. Dr. Cole says rising interest rates are contributing to the problem too, with many commercial building owners having to refinance their five-year mortgages at double the percentage they started at, ultimately deciding it's not worth it. The takeaways on where we are with the banking system is that there's risk. But FAU real estate expert Ken Johnson says the good news for Florida Sunbelt states are less prone to bank failures because demand for office space hasn't slowed down as workers and businesses are still migrating to these areas. So while, um, you know, here in Florida, we may not see the most drastic impact of this, why should people here still care? It could affect us indirectly because the banking system threatens the whole U.S. economy. If things do go south enough to really cause a national level problem, it affects us indirectly. I'm consumer investigator Jessica Bruno, WPTV News Channel 5.